to add a spline, you go attach multiple, attach these guys to it, extrude it five inches, and that's your wall. Now, where that wall goes in the house, it does this. In the mid-level plan, I'm just gonna move it up. Oop. I'm gonna zoom in here, guys. See that? This is where it goes, basically, in the y-axis only. Move it like that. Now, I'm going to unhide all of my uh, mid-level floor plate again. Now, look at that. See, I've got now the main architectural elements of the house, right? Now, all I need to do now is basically draw the window mold-in. So, window mold-in is very, very simple. Basically, if I isolate the window mold-ins, it's just a bunch of rectangles. It's 200 inches tall. Uh, the vertical horizontal mullion, you just draw in the floor plan. So all you need to do is uh, draw a rectangle, extrude it up 200, like so. And then where it goes, oh, not face extrude, you want to go extrude 200, like that, right? And then now all I need to do is move this thing up. I'm going to move it to the right height. So then I'm just going to go, I'm just going to move it up to here. This is basically the finished floor, like that, right? And then all i got to do now is once I have it, is I'm just going to copy and move this thing over to exactly where it is on the plan, right? So hang on. I'm going to move it only in the Y axis, make sure it's a copy. So just move it like this. See that? So wherever there's a, uh, a mole in, I move it all to the right height now, right? So this is all 200. Like that. See, copy. Like that. And then, then like that here, right? Now the horizontal mullion is pretty simple. It's basically just draw the rectangle all the way across, like so. And it just extrude it up three inches. And then if you want to know where that is, bring up the, uh, the west elevation. So I'm going to unhide. So just bring up, see, one drawing at a time as you, uh, as you need them. That's all you need, see? I'm going to zoom in here. That's basically where one of it goes. Uh, the other one, the horizontal elevation, it goes here. Make a copy like that. There's another one that goes in here. Copy like that. And there's one more that goes down here. You see where the double line is? That's where the mullions go. Now, when you do these mullions, I'll show you one other trick very quickly. You see how the uh, it doesn't cut into the fireplace. So the way to do that very easily is to apply an edit mesh modifier because now it's a 3D object. Just grab those vertex, right? and just copy it across like that, see? Now if, I'm, uh, now, if I'm done with this now, I'm just going to go hold down the Shift key and then bring it down like that. See? And then you can do the same thing for the other side of the, uh, you know, of the window. But when you're done, let's take a look at it. See, now you've got basically most of that window system built too, right? Pretty simple so far, correct? Mm -hmm. Now, to do the handrails, handrails pretty simple. I want to bring up the mid-level plan. All you got to do for the handrails, guys, is do this. Uh, draw on the floor plan here, just retrace it. You know, it doesn't have to be that exact. Um, you know, you can just, you know, I'm going to draw it like so, okay? I'm going to come across on the, you can do it on the outside or the inside, it doesn't matter. It'll be off by about three quarters of an inch or half an inch, but that's okay. I won't take points off. If you guys are really anal about it, you can offset it and then you can uh, build it so it'll be exact. Okay, but basically you just use that and then you can adjust the Bezier handles, right? You can always do this, you know? And then when you've got it done, all you got to do, is you can do this. Just come down to rendering. Um, under rendering, just go enable and render and enable viewport. And I just want to make it one and a half inches. 
Now, when you do this, basically, it creates a, uh, it turns this line so that it's renderable, so you can actually see it. It's still a line, it just, you know, it just renders out as a 3D solid. So, for that particular handrail, I am just going to move this guy up. You can just kind of snap it. It's here, that's one here, that's one here. And what you're going to do for the vertical handrails, guys, you're just going to use cylinders and just eyeballs placement. You see that? All right? That's what it looks like. You see? Pretty simple. Yes? <laughs> so, you know, you guys basically have all what it takes right now to basically draw the rest of the house. You gotta remember when you when you have uh, the line, you have enabled render and enabled viewport turn on. The next line you draw is also a 3D line, right? So you need to make sure that you uh, you turn it back off and it becomes the two dimensional line again. And whatever you draw afterwards becomes two dimensional again. Okay, but. Basically, that's how you draw, you know, tubular structures like so, and that's how you draw the rest.